All right, this is what we have going on today. There you see this big pine, see that pulley on it right there at the bottom of it. So there's a pulley at the bottom of it where the rope comes straight down. And then there's a pulley. You see the green strap up there. There's a pulley up there comes back down here which this is going to be going up there in the top of this rope deal and this tree's about about 25 inches or so plenty of poison ivy around the base of it it's been broken hung up in that gum for over a year now i'm gonna get these limbs out of it and then i'm gonna get the top out of the pine we're gonna lower it down got a porter wrap over here I'm going to take this rope and I'm going to put it just below where it's hung in that gum there, a few feet below it. And then I'm going to put a spider leg on this rope too. It'll come back so it'll be like a Y coming down to this stem here. And we're going to hold it like that. And then we're going to end up attaching the other end of the rope to the mini. And we're going we're gonna to lift this thing. We're going to pick up on it a little bit and then I'm going to cut on the stump some. I'm going to have one more rope attached to the porter wrap going up to another pulley up in the very tip top of the tree. And there'll be a half inch stable braid on it acting kind of as a uh, insurance rope so the tree don't swing around and end up at the house over there. And hopefully it'll all go all right. That thing's... uh. Lowered a lot of limbs, though. I guess everybody can see us from where we're working at because everybody comes by, they stop and slow down and look over here. I think I put seven of these limbs on this one rope at one time. I'm just choking them with my straps and putting them on the stable braid. And, and basically just zip lining them straight down. Chris is holding them and then I was just cutting them is what I was doing. So this gets a little complicated. We're gonna go, so we're gonna start to bud the tree first and work from there up back to the mini. Me and Chris think we've got everything. Think. <laughs> think we got everything right. I've got the top out of the gum, all the limbs are out of it. All it is a spar laying up on that, uh, out of, well, I got all the limbs out of the pine, not the gum, the pine out of the gum, uh, limbs out of the pine. The pine is resting on a gum limb up there. So we've got a stable braid attached to the butt right here just to keep it from doing anything wonky. Locked off on the porter wrap right there. That other, other porter wrap goes up to a pulley up there and is attached to the top just to keep this stem from doing anything crazy. We can control it right there. This is nothing more than a tagline attached up there in case when we lift it, and the tree don't come this way, we can hook this to a truck and swing the tree over here to where we can let it down. There, so everybody with me so far? All right, then we've got a 5 8 rope. You see the pulley? Right there. It goes straight up the tree to the top of it to another pulley up there, across, attached there. And then there's a spider leg, a half inch diameter spider leg made for the 5 8 rope attached. So we're in a Y right there. 
And then this road runs out of the neighbor's backyard. Over here connected to the Mini on another Porter route. So the cool thing about that is, is it doesn't matter where Chris ends up at, we can take the Porter route on the loose there and we can lower it so we didn't screw ourselves nowhere right there. So once he pulls, set rope comes straight down, straight out this fence, this gate. Thank goodness there was a gate right here because I'm not sure. Well, we would have had to move the pulley on up higher, clear this fence to come out of it like that. So we would have had to do, which would have been no big deal. So you can see the rigging on it, the way that it's situated. When he lifts that thing, lifts it up, gets the weight off of it, my lift is on the other side of that fence over in the neighbor's backyard. We just busted up in there a while ago like we own the place. I happen to know the guy that owns it and told him, I said, we're finna borrow your yard for a little bit. And they were like, cool, works, get it. And uh, when he lifts that thing a little bit, I'm gonna probably shoot back up in the lift and block that top out of that thing to where it gets down to the yellow rope. I'm gonna stop right above the yellow rope right there and then we'll bring the tree over this way. Hopefully it works that way. May I do a little whittling on the, on the, uh, that's, the plan. that's the plan. And then we may be here the rest of the day putting up wooden fence, you know, who knows? If you thump that one, it's gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Real brittle. Yeah, it's real brittle. Real brittle. But anyhow, that's just kind of what uh, what's, what it's looking like right now. I got a second camera over here. I'm going to set it up. Probably set it up back here looking back this way. We can kind of see everything maybe, and we'll see what happens. So this is a moment of truth, y'all. Chris just fired at the Mini. And of course, you can let it idle to allow the string the same strength at an idle, and it'll just creep. You gonna pick the blade all the way up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. So everything's tightening up. I hear the bark. Getting tight. Everything's looking good, Chris. Oh yeah, it's lit. it's getting the weight off of that gum, Liam. Look at that. I hope it'll it'll once it passes. There we go. Come on up a little bit more with it. All right, just hold it right there and let me go over there and do something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is just freaking awesome, dude. The way I, and it's not, it don't have that much pressure on it either. Uh-uh, no. Okay, let me get an Instagram post. Y'all can see what we got going on here with it. See, there's that other pulley. There's a spider leg and the 5-8 stable braid right there. I'm going to work some of this top out of this thing. Let's see. See, we're getting that top down. In theory, it's supposed to work. Yeah, Dude, we got off. enough ropes on that thing. If you that it, got all your ropes. If it broke in half, the top's gonna just hang. Yeah. I mean, the work, well, Might even swing. if it broke it, no, it can't swing because that oh, other yeah, one's holding. Right over here. Yeah. yeah. We just have, it'd be like a spider yeah. web of stuff up there, spread eagle. Letting stuff slack in there, buddy.
All right, lift it a little bit, Chris. Just watch the fire hydrant behind you. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's working just as pretty as can be. Come on, back with a little bit more. I right, hold it right there. All right, what we did, we've got the tag line attached to the grapple where he can pull it. All right, ease it. Ease the tag line, the grapple toward you, Chris. We're going to use the grapple to bring the tree this way. I'll see it moving, coming at us here. All right, Chris, what you need to do now is, is you need to back up with the whole machine a little bit, just ease back. We got a limb, we got a clear right here. That's fine. Just pick it up where it's just above the ground. And ease backwards, because it's gonna lift and pull this way at the same time. Because where, where, where we're at right now, we could actually set it down in this other big fork that's on our side over here now, if we had to. Yeah, it's twisting on that stump pretty nice. All right, hold it right there, Chris. All right, how far in can you come with your grapple? You still got a ways, can't you? Come in. All right, well, come on in with your grapple now. Yeah, put the blade down. If we can buy, if we can get past that stupid limb right there, man. Yeah, that's right. And I may go up there and cut that song gun out right there about where that thing is. Just keep pulling it in with your with the grapple right now, because we're where. Back on up a little bit further with it. Yeah, back on up. Yeah, we still got we still got several feet that we can go before we're vertical with it. So you know, I just didn't want to get stand it straight up because that we would have been in a pickle then. There you go. It's it's going just right. Keep on backing up with it. We're going to get out there on the end and then we're going to put some weight on it. All right, stop right there, Chris. Now pull the grapple. Yeah, that's what a. All right, let me let me get over here and look at it in the shower from the other side, see what it's looking like. <coughs> yeah, it is. All right, pull your grapple on in that last little bit that you got. All right, can you go in any more with the grapple? Uh, Do that. You can swing, swing to your left, your left. Go up with it some and clear the rope. Let the blade down some. And get over it. There you go. That freaking limb right there, y'all. We fixing the we fixing the smoke at limb though. Oh, you got plenty of clearance. Yeah, you you're plenty clear of. You see, what I'm saying I want to break this limb here if it'll break it. Nah, just hold it right there, hold it. I'm gonna go cut that limb. So this is what it looks like. That's the rope that goes down the porter wrap on the, on the gum. Chris is taking all the slack out of it now. It's tied right there on it. We've got the yellow stable braid, that's a five eighths and a spider leg coming off of it. Uh, it's tied onto it with a clove hitch. Those are awesome. And then there's a the tag line going back to the mini on the grapple down there. 
So it actually looks really, really slick up here. I'm fixing to whack this limb right here, and then we're gonna go straight down with the with the piece. solve that problem right there real quick okay we got that out of the way now if it does it's just gonna come down and we're good if it comes down don't worry about it i mean don't don't burn your hand trying to stop it you know whatever because we're in the clear now all right chris is taking the wraps off the porter right now just whenever you get like one wrap just see if it'll start moving chris and just whatever the all right that's fine because see i'll be able to control it too over here see we got two on it all right let's go all right let her go yeah let her come on now so we're lowering it now chris is letting it ease through the porter out so what's happening is the stump's holding it. Everything's free now. And I'm gonna go over here and saw on the stump just a little bit. sure hope that was still recording here yeah oh yes it was <sighs> dude that's like we've done that time or two yeah that was very slick man pretty dang slick we got a little shower rain yesterday evening kind of late you can see what the yard's doing now we we really hadn't had hardly any rain in the entire month of uh, June and into July now and everything's browning up the that it just kind of settled to dust a little bit pretty dry in the southeast right now and it could stand a little bit but so I want to talk about the that rigging on that tree that the that kind of stuff is what I really like to do is the what I would call the problem solving stuff and and working through that, getting everything rigged up, and then and then putting it in motion and watching everything work and work the way it's supposed to work. So the spider leg, you seen it? It just it wraps around. It's a it's a rope that's got an eye on one end, and you wrap that eye, and then you put the rope back through it, and it basically works like a prusik on the on the stable braid and locks itself down and. And it gives you the ability to, you know, like spider legs out there. And then you can put multiple ones on the on the thing. And I knew that I needed to put at least one on that one where I'd have two support points on it because I knew that tree was uh, pretty, pretty bad. But here's the thing about the spider legs. You can order them. You have to have the spider leg that'll fit your rope. 
So if you're running a, uh, a half inch stable braid, the spider leg that you're gonna use is a three eighths, I believe that's what it is. And, and because if you don't use the right one, it'll slip on the root. And then on the five eighths stable braid, you use a, a half inch spider leg on it. They're very cheap. They're not, they're not costly to buy, very handy in certain situations. But a lot of the things with rigging is, is you, you gotta understand angles, uh, how angles work and, and what you can get away with because sometimes you can, you can rig stuff and if you don't have the right angle on what you're rigging, things go haywire quick, fast, and in a hurry. And, it, and you know, if you hadn't been around somebody to kind of show you how that, how that works or how to set your angles up, Boy, the, the stupid tax on that can be incredible. Enjoy doing that job. I enjoy working with Chris. A lot of fun. I looked at a job yesterday. If somebody's watching this video and you're familiar with some crane guys in the Tuscaloosa area, reach out to me and give me uh, some contacts. I know Kyle will go over there, and, you know, just whatever. I got to pay him to get over there because uh, he's from French camp. I like working with Kyle. Kyle is really, really good on a crane, and, and he's a tree guy. He understands the lifts and, and things like that. We can do the tree without a crane, but it would be a lot easier with a crane, and it will be an incredible video. So tell me your thoughts on this video. Uh, really cool-looking sending back looking at all the rigging on it when it was all set up and uh what you what you think the video at northport power equipment over in northport uh, published yesterday went very well everybody loves when i go in that place and looking around at the equipment and everything that they got they're they're pretty well stocked up pretty good on just about everything right now so i hope y'all have a great sunny today i'm just gonna Go down in my shop. I got to do some straightening up down there. Thank goodness for overcast. It's a little bit of mist or rain falling right now, actually. And I am, uh, that's very well welcomed uh, in my world. This past week was brutal uh, with the heat. Very, very brutal. Been, been tough, man. Tough. But uh, y'all be good. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.